Rick Huckstep on the line. Good morning, Rick. How are you, Dave? Yeah, good, mate. Uh, you are still um, sorting out gear and packing and getting everything organised, all the little bits and pieces for your, for your next adventure? Mate, I am, and trailer is um, fast becoming full. <laughs> mate, it was full before you started. <laughs> uh, I'll tell you, it's got good suspension. It'll just keep sagging a bit further, but uh, no, it's all looking good, mate. And um, I've um, got all my battery situation sorted out. What did, what did you end up doing for, uh, for, for your batteries, for your battery charging and that? Well, I've got, in the trailer itself, I've got 365 amp hour batteries uh, hooked up and um, I can put them in, uh, if I pull into a park somewhere, which I don't like to go to normally, I can plug in, I've got a Waco um, charger that um, comes off at 240 volt. But when I'm on the road, I like to feed it off of a um, uh, an Anderson plug at the back of the car and that's obviously the power coming through from the alternator, but... On the shakedown trip I did, I, I got to Darwin and I bought a battery dryer. And um, I'm not a, a very good auto, auto uh, electrician or a mechanic for that matter, but um, what was happening is that uh, the alternator regulator senses that there's a flat battery somewhere, uh, namely the ones in the trailer, so it opens up the gate and gives it full charge right the way through. Of course, the first battery it gets to, the full charge uh, goes into the cranking battery and I was boiling the battery dry. Right, OK. Yeah, so... I had to look at that and uh, because I, I've got a, a Honda 1 KVA gen set that I can run when I'm out in the bush, but you know, you're using one to two litres of fuel a day and there's something else to service and look after, and I, I was a bit loath to do that. Um, but I got onto this thing uh, through a, a, this little charger. It's called a Red Arc, and um, the guy that checked my batteries up and down and told me about it, it's not a cheap thing. It's about $420-odd, I think, but uh, in the end, I, the boiled battery cost me 250 so... Uh, probably a good investment and what it is is actually a small charger and it is small it's only the size of two mobile telephones probably and um, it still plugs into that Anderson plug but it takes 12 volt uh, and it's only a trickle and it charges 20 amp out the other side now the amazing thing is that I can now drive as long as I'm driving every three days all my batteries are running and I'm, I tell you I'm running a 110 litre uh, litre Waco uh, fridge freezer and another 60 litre Waco that is a freezer in its own right. And uh, three days is no problems. And as long as I'm driving within three days, it all charges up again. Okay, so basically, uh, instead of charging the batteries off the alternator, the alternator voltage goes to the input of this thing, and then the output of it goes to the battery. So it basically isolates the batteries from the from the alternator, but still charges them. That's right, and uh, it's easy. It's just it's not sucking all that power out, and uh, and therefore it's, it's all very well controlled. And it's actually called a, a Red Arc Smart Start, and it's a BCDC1220. Um, the guys down at um, Springwood Auto Electrics, they're on um, Watland Street in Springwood, number 33. They're actually uh, agents for them. Um, I got mine from somewhere else, but I've since spoken to these guys, and they've done a lot of work for me, and they're pretty switched on blokes. So, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely the way to go, and it's sorted all my problems out, and I think they should be compulsory for anyone that's towing anything that's got fridges or freezers in it, whether it be a boat, a uh, caravan, or a, um, a camper trailer. Yeah, it becomes a real science, doesn't it? The whole 12-volt uh, charging and, and maintenance system, it, you can really get yourself in some trouble, and you know the bottom line is you have to spend a bit of money to, uh, to set it up right, but once you set it up right, it's a, it's a pretty efficient system. Oh, it's extremely efficient. This little unit's amazing. It actually senses what sort of batteries, uh, what sort of battery it's taking power from, and it can sense what it's charging, whether it's a gel cell, a deep cycle, or a wet cell, and uh, it changes accordingly. And it can do 12 or 24 volts. So guys uh, running trucks or or big uh, big battery setups in the backs of um, boats and trailers and caravans, they're all catered for. Right. Amazing right. piece of gear. Interesting. And what's it called again? A it's a Red Arc Smart Start BC DC twelve twenty, and that's twelve volt twenty amp. Okay, that's a, bit, a bit of a mouthful, but it's, it's fairly new, is it? Yeah, they've only been out for about eight nine months that I can tell. There, there, there was an earlier one which was a, a six amp charger, and of course this one being twenty is well suited to what I'm doing with a big bank of batteries. And I just can't believe it. I can I can drive for the day and I can pull up and I look at the voltmeter in the trailer, and uh, mate, it's got thirteen and a half fourteen volts all of the time. Until mm. I run for a day or two, and you know, I, I use my fridges and my Waco fridges and freezers. You know, we're into them all the time, mate. You know, drinks time and that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> mate, I've seen you. I've seen the way you operate with the fridge. 
<laughs> no, pretty, lethal. <laughs> pretty lethal, isn't it? <laughs> You're actually a bit more of a, a red wine man, I think, from memory. I like a cleansing ale. But, uh, <laughs> this, there's nothing like a, a nice red wine, especially with a bit of um, wild-killed um, game. <laughs> All right, Rick, appreciate your time, mate. Good on you, Dave.